Hello students, uh, welcome to short officer classes and this question is from ISI MSQE paper of 2022 and this solution has been prepared by the faculty members of short officer classes. So this uh, question number 27 is saying that let A be a 5 by 5 plus 5 non-singular non matrix that which of the following statement uh, is true. So we have this A is non none so which means a is not equal to zero and also a is singular so determinant of a is equal to zero and there exists uh, x which is not equal to zero in the space r5 so we have this uh, we have to find this a x equal to zero will be how many solutions so now if we put this a of lambda x equal to 0 then we can write this as lambda of a x equal to 0 right so we have this lambda x where lambda is the lambda is an element in the real space is content in the solution right so we have this if we set a x equal to 0 then a x equal to 0 will have infinitely many solutions So we have the correct option here is option D. A x equal to 0 has infinitely many solutions. Question number 20 is saying that a family has two children. What is the probability that both are boys given that at least one is a boy? Okay, so you have to find the probability. Now, so there are actually this four possibilities what are the four possibilities it will be boy 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 girl girl boy and girl girl so these are the four possibilities so here is given this one of them is boy then there will be three possible combinations right so this will be boy 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 girl or girl boy so probability that both of them are boys so if you find the probability that both of them are boys at least one of them is a boy so if we find so it will be nothing but if we write the so probability of the boys that are given at least one is a boy it will be so out of the three possible combination so it will be one by three so we have the correct option is C one by three question number 29 saying that consider two boxes one containing one black ball and one white ball so this is box b1 here we have one white ball and one black ball so this is the black ball and the other containing two white balls and one black ball so we have the second container this is b2 so we have two white balls and one black ball okay now a box is selected at random and a ball is selected at random from the selected box so what is the probability that the ball is black 
so here we have B that is event that black ball is selected and another event is W the event that white ball is selected okay. so we have the probability of B so we have to find the probability of the bar, uh, ball is black so we have this P of B this is nothing but the P of B intersection B1 plus P of uh, this B intersection B2 so we can write it as this P of B1 probability of B1 and the conditional probability of B and B1 so this is uh, probability of B given B1 has occurred plus P, the probability of B2 so probability of B given B2 is occurred so we have this P of B1 is nothing but half and this conditional probability is also half so P of B2 is half and this is 1 by 3 right so we will have 1 by 4 uh, so uh, we can write it this half you just take common and it's 5 by 6 so it will be 5 by 12 so the correct option in our case is option A 5 by 12 that will be the probability that the ball is black question number 30 so the function f which is in the real space is defined by f of x is given as x square plus 1 to the power whole to the power 2022 so which is we have to find how what is the function so if we put this f of minus 1 f of minus 1 x equal to minus 1 it will be to the power 2022 and f of plus 1 will also be to the power 2022 so from here you can get that f is not injective right and also we have this x square plus 1 it should be always greater than equal to 1 now if we do this x square plus 1 to the power 2022 it should be always greater than 1 so we have f of x is always greater than equal to 1 for all x in the interval this the real space so from here we can say that f is not on 2 so the correct option in our case is option D for the question number 30. So the function is neither 1, 1 nor odd.